Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I would like us to look at going live from your desktop computer in two ways. So I'm going to simply click on live video. Then you are sent with welcome back, Keep It Simple Social Media Training and Consulting. This is what I wanna do, I wanna go live. So I am going to click on select right here in the middle of the screen. And now it's gonna open up and it should open my camera up and my microphone. So there you go, you see it has now opened up the video. So FaceTime camera is on and default microphone to my MacBook is also on. I want you to notice in the left-hand side, it simply says I've only done step one of three steps. So now I need to go to complete post details, which are mandatory to do before you can go live. So what is your video about? This is test Facebook live from desktop. And then description going through the steps, okay? Fix your spelling areas. And you can even put a location in here. I'm gonna to put Toronto, Ontario, which is where we're teaching next week. So there we go. And I'm gonna click save. So now you'll notice that we have gone from step one to step two, we have a check mark. We are going to come back to this video later and look at possibly start screen share. We could go ahead and click that and it's not allowing me, there we go, share. And I'm unable to share the screen and it, I might have to go into my settings and fix that. However, I do have my screen share on for Zoom because I'm recording this as well. So, that was what we needed to do to share the screen is you needed to go into your settings on your computer and you need to enable the sharing for Facebook of the screen. Um, but now to go live, we would go next to this button and you see how it highlighted in the blue box down here, go live and we simply click on the go live button. It's counting down. And we say, hello everyone, we are now live on Facebook. This is a test example of the steps that we go through in order to go live. Um, here, I'm looking at the screen that you cannot see and it's giving me lots of other options. Um, I can share to a group. It gives me how long our live has been going on for. I can see if there's uh, people viewing. I can see if people are liking and commenting. And I think it really, this might be a great way to do a market update. If you're a real estate agent, it's a good way to communicate with people. If you have a specific audience that follows your page, you could schedule a live in advance in order to let people know you're going to be live. So there's lots of things you can do, but I think the most important component of going live is practicing and doing it over and over and enjoying yourself. So that was the example that I wanted to show everyone. Uh, once again, this is a recording on Zoom as well as a live on Facebook. And now I'm going to turn this into a video to share on my YouTube channel to help other people out. Remember, everyone, keep it simple.